SpaceX has been working tirelessly 24-7 to get Booster 7 and Ship 24 to orbit. Now, Elon said that it's a possibility that November could be the month of 2022 that we finally see a fully stacked Starship go to orbit. Booster 7 went back to the production facility last week and is actually back at the launch site right now, ready for further testing. Now, let's take a look at the road closure to see what's going to be happening. And there's a little bit more detail here that I want to show you, too, right after we look at this. So here we go. This is Friday, October 7th. That's today. Monday, October 10th. 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Road closure pretty much all day and most of the night. So a 12-hour road closure, meaning something big could happen at Starbase. Could it be another static fire? There's a possibility that the booster could do another static fire. It could be another spin prime test. Basically, a spin prime is like getting the, the Raptor 2 engines to the point of uh, flight, you know, to the point of lighting them up and then just not lighting them up. That's pretty much what it is. Now, if we go back to this page, Tuesday, October 11th, possible closure, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Wednesday, the same thing, 12 hour road closure. Could they be doing a static fire? Now I wanna show you something just recently that we saw here. It's a, um, it's a document for Mariners. So the Mariner safety, is important around this region. It's right on the Gulf of Mexico. It's like a mile away from Gulf of Mexico. SpaceX has informed the U.S. Coast Guard of scheduled testing uh, at the facility located south of Brownsville, Texas, near Boca Chica Beach during the hours of 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. through October 10th, 2022, uh, through October, or from October uh, 10th through October 14th, 2022. And the hazard area will exist in the vicinity outside of uh, Boca Chica Beach, basically outside the SpaceX facility. So this is what they say, though. This is the thing. The area below represents U.S. waters, um, and the hazards include blast pressure, debris, gaseous leaks, and fires during the test. So we saw with uh, Booster 7 that there was a pretty significant fire that happened after the last static fire, and it happened, uh, you know, it, it went for a couple hours, you know, and it looked pretty bad, but in the whole grand scheme of things, um, there were only a few pieces of wildlife that got damaged or uh, hurt during this uh, during this time. So a lot of brush was damaged, but SpaceX goes into these tests knowing that that's the case. And the locals know that, and the uh, authorities know that. So SpaceX was totally fine with what they did last time. They know there's gonna be fires. So they say in this one, hey, there's gonna be more fires, more than likely, so just be ready for them, you know, just don't be around here because there's going to be fires. It might be debris. If something were to rud, if Booster 7 were to rud on the pad, we've seen from starships in the past, the starship landings that have rudded either on the way up, on the way down, in between somewhere, that some of this debris uh, launched all the way to the island. So South Padre Island is about seven-ish miles away, seven, six or seven miles away. And people said they found pieces of starships on the coast of South Padre Island. So this shows that SpaceX is ramping up to do something pretty big next week. Now, is that going to be a static fire? I think it's going to be a static fire. I think they're getting ready to move this thing to the next phase. Last time it was seven uh, Raptor 2s, if I'm not mistaken. This time, could it be doubled? Could it be 14? Could it be every circle in this raptor so it has three circles a center circle of raptors an inner i guess this is the second circle and then an outer circle of raptors there's 33 altogether so could it be anywhere between 7 and 33 i'm guessing they're going to ramp it up a little bit i think what they might do is take these three days do another seven static fire and make sure it works reload the thing the next day because they have 12 hours to do this so uh, get it ready the first day do a static fire that night. Tuesday could possibly do another static fire, but with more Raptors. And then Wednesday, if everything goes well, maybe they'll take this three day period and do a 33 engine static fire. But I don't think that's very likely. I don't think they're gonna go full from seven to 33 or from zero, I guess they're gonna be restarting here. So from zero to 33, I don't think that's gonna happen. It's a possibility though, because SpaceX is, uh, if they see the right data, 
and they could push forward. But this is also a really important mission because if they don't have this ready to go by November, by the date that Elon said, hey, let's go to orbit, there's a possibility that they could be postponed for a few more months. So looking at this, it looks like, and it seems like they're gonna be doing some sort of cautious tests in the next week. Maybe do another seven static fire because last time it looked like they had to harden the um, the uh, Raptor engines. Now this time, if they go a little bit further, that's good because it shows progress. Gather some data from that progress and then move on from there, from seven to 14, 21, go to 33, do four steps. I mean, could it, could it be a possibility? We'll see. And also they have to make sure that everything works right. So do a static fire on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday could be a possibility of, you know, maybe some pressure tests, something like that. Maybe they're not going to test the Raptors right away either. Like maybe they're going to wait for, you know, do some pressure tests on Monday, make sure everything works right. Make sure the piping's fine. Make sure that everything is good and everything's solid. And then Tuesday or Wednesday, they do the static fire. So let me know in the comments below. Also, if you're into Starship, let me know uh, by hitting the like button and the subscribe button. Also, this helps the channel a little bit, but it also helps you more because YouTube is gonna recommend you more spaceflight content. So it's not about this channel right here. It's about you when you subscribe to something like this channel because YouTube's gonna be like, hey, you like SpaceX, you like Starship? Okay, here's some more creators. Here, let's give you all the creators for Starship. And then you'll get to see some other cool stuff. So it's like, cool. I'm I'm happy that you like this channel, but I would rather you get all the information about Starship. It's all about the Starship at this point. So, you know, SpaceX has moved Starship back to the, uh, to the launch site and it's getting ready, or the booster, sorry, and it's getting ready for these tests but also Ship 24. There's a thing going on with Ship 24 right now too. And I think you'd be interested in this because we were kind of saying, we were seeing actually from SpaceX that there was gonna be some sort of um, possible uh, Starlink connection here. You know, could they be launching a Starship in the first orbital flight test or a Starlink, sorry. Could they be moving a Starlink in the uh, first orbital flight test, could they moving it to orbit and then deploying it and then doing a test of that stuff? It's a possibility, but it looks like they have welded shut Ship 24's payload bay. So I don't think that's gonna happen anymore. I mean, it could be temporary, but once you weld something, there's really, I mean, there is, there's ways to unweld stuff, but it's a big process. And why would you go through that process just to, do a, a test or two, you know? So it seems like what's gonna happen is ship 24, booster seven, orbital flight test, like that's the plan, but it doesn't look like there's gonna be any Starlinks ejecting from Starship or even being put into Starship because it's all welded shut now, which is good. Uh, the first test, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect and it doesn't have to have everything ready to go and it doesn't have to be like a mission on top of just get this thing to orbit and see if it works. Like don't run on the pad, just get it to orbit. So I think that's why they did the ship 24 thing, why they welded that shut because I don't, I think they were kind of looking at that going like, oh yeah, uh, we don't really need to do this. And it would just complicate things a little bit more. Let's just get this thing to orbit. Maybe the second one, the next ship that goes to orbit, maybe we'll do a payload on that one. Maybe we'll do something on that one. So it's a possibility, you know, ship 26. Also, I've heard some things about ship 26 that that may be a lunar starship, an HLS prototype. So, but we'll see in the future what happens with that one. So I want to say thanks to everybody who's been tuning in and who's been tuning in for a while now. I appreciate your support. I appreciate you stopping by. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to like, make sure to leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if I got anything wrong too, because sometimes I'm just talking about stuff and sometimes my brain goes someplace else and I miss a fact or I, I misspeak. So let me know in the comments below what you think about this mission. When do you think they're gonna launch? I think end of year. I don't think they're gonna hit the November thing. I think it's gonna be December, maybe early next year. I don't think they're gonna hit November though. It's so much testing. 
in between now and then because we're already at the first week the end of the first week of october you know that's like that only gives them about a month and a half ish to get everything ready for a, an orbital flight test and that's a lot to do in about a month and a half so let me know what you think thanks for watching everybody let's get this thing to orbit that would be amazing oh yeah by the way uh starshipshirts.com uh that's our merch store and you can get everything for $16.99 right now. Everything in the store is $16.99. So please go check out a Starship shirt. Go check out our NASA inspired and Starship inspired shirts because that's the way that we can keep this channel going. And this is also like, it doesn't have uh, any restrictions about who can order or where you can order from. It, we ship worldwide. So go check out starshipshirts.com. Bye bye. <laughs> that was the worst sign off ever. By the way, bye bye. <laughs> All right, see you guys later.